hello there captain and welcome to two minutes off in this series we explain to you upcoming rules and regulations on maritime sustainability in just two minutes and in the next two minutes we'll discuss EEXI we'll explain to you what it is how it works and how it can impact your vessel and our goal is to make your life easier so if after the next two minutes you are still not satisfied have questions or need any help at all feel free to contact us using our free to use help desk on the website that being said we know your time is precious so let's get started let us first have a look at the bigger picture the energy efficiency existing ship index is not just a mouthful it is one of the instruments that IMO uses to reduce carbon intensity it is a one-time calculation required as per 2023 that you have to comply with. So let me show you the calculation. The basics are CO2 emitted in grams divided by transportation work in ton mile of your vessel. And this result will be a number. The EEXI number attained of your vessel needs to be below the EEXI acquired by IMO. So for example, the number here, 13.95 grams per ton mile, needs to be below a certain threshold. All the details are explained in the IMO guidelines on the calculation of EEXI. Uh, this formula is quite complicated and we can help you in a matter of seconds to determine it for your vessel, but more on that later. Let's first talk about the process, how it works. So you calculate your EEXI, your EEXI is okay, you never have to worry about EEXI again, that's it. If it's not okay and the attained EEXI is higher than the required EEXI, you need to implement either engine power limitations or other measures to reduce your EEXI, after which you never have to worry about EEXI again. And of course, that's what we are here to help you with as well. So how does that work and how can we help you determine EEXI? We take your vessel properties as much as is needed. We determine the representative power demand in order to get emissions. We can then make a list of options for you. These numbers are not all correct, but it is here for illustratory purposes. And then with that option or with these options in that menu, we can determine your future EEXI depending on your needs. And then you never have to worry about EEXI again. So that concludes our two minutes off. If you need any help at all, like I said, feel free to use the free to use help desk and we will be there to guide you on your journey. Have a great day.